Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Uh, today on the show, um, we have received a submission from William Young, and um, this is his 100 card deck. Um, now today's episode will be uh, as part of the mini-series, we could consider it a mini-series because I've done uh, previous episodes of it, um, although they're not uh, like grouped in together in some playlist, but you can search for them. Um, building, building better decks. Um, now this deck is pretty much okay-ish, um, the only disadvantage is that it has like a hundred cards and that's kind of hindering when you're trying to get uh, the proper card or to play the proper response um, to your opponent's threats and sometimes it, it it feels like it's never ending like you will never draw what you need uh, although if you line up um, quite correctly on the draws you can even uh, even win some games. Now I've tested this uh, and I've uh, I've had the misfortune of playing against aggro decks. Basically it reduced me to rubble and I've also um, mashed against a mid-range uh, Telvani and basically I had like a big chance against it but somewhere around turn six I stopped getting uh, the cards that I needed. So, um, because of that, uh, it turned into a loss. Um, so, the deck um, is pretty much um, single copies of a lot of stuff, uh, plus your two copies uh, and three copies here and there. So, what I noticed is that this deck can actually be transitioned into something much more devious. I think you already know what I mean. Uh, let's switch over to it. So I've kept the basic idea of the deck and what the creatures represented and I've added some stuff of my own and I've turned it into a Singleton um, Gilson deck. Uh, let's go over the deck quickly. We've got Fort Bolt, Blood Sorcerer, Brutal, Brutal Ashlander, Crown Quarter, Master Firebolt, Loot, Rapid Shot, Steel Scimitar, Circle Initiate, Ebon Thread, Cloak, Gilson Apprentice, Gilson Wayfarer, Lozra, Oakland Captain, Pointy Wall, Sparks Protector, Rift Thane, Soul Split, Throne Align, Vivek, City Pilgrim, Warclaw, Mercenary, Wardcrafter, Wisdom of the Ancients, Channel Storm, Crusaders Assault, Golden Initiate, this is one of the additions that the original deck did not have. Uh, Imperial Legionnaire, Keeper of Whispers, Luminous Shard, Manic Jack, Mongol Gatekeeper, Reverberating Strike, Set Masterwork, Starsung Bard, Thieves Guild Shadowfoot, Unstable Madman, Breton Condra, Earthbone Spinner, Hive Defender, Jazargo, uh, Lightning Bolt, Reeve Blade Master, Royal Sage, Seasoned Captain, the, Bla uh, the Black Dragon, Tear Iron, Cast Into Time, Divine Fervor, Gilson Cavalier. I added Cast Into Time because it, it's a very good removal. Uh, didn't, uh, was not included in the original deck. Uh, Loyal, House Skull, Morkai, the Deathless, Piercing Javelin, Soul Shred, Therana, Vivek, Abnathon, Apex Wolf. Again, Apex Wolf was not included in the original deck. Conjuration, Tudor Golden, Saint, Icewing Dragon, Lyris Titan Ball, Sil. Telvos Magister, the Mechanical Heart, also one of my um, infusions because in Singleton uh, it's pretty nice to like come back to 10 HP and then uh, somehow recover. Uh, Merrick, Uncarno, Vigilant Giant, Lanis, Soda Sil, Siege of Stross Makai, Supreme Atromancer, Divyathir, Mirak, and Vanus Galarian. Uh, Vanus Galarian, I added uh, again, um, was not included in the original deck. Uh, I added Vanus as well because we have a card. Um, let me quickly get to it. There it is. Star Sung Bard. Immune to silence. Your unique cards cost one less. You could even add Soul Burst um, to it because you've got loads of unique legendaries. Um, so uh, you can rely on Gilson Cavalier. Uh, you've got plenty of actions, plenty of items, plenty of support. Uh, a decent amount of prophecies, 
and um, the deck feels quite nice even if uh, the curve is some somewhere around um, flat levels uh, starting from four cost going all the way up to seven plus cost um, but it's it is reliable for singleton deck you can have um, a lot of fun with it and um, I'm willing to test this uh, on camera and show you guys how um, how it works now don't actually rely on um, on drawing uh, the proper uh, how should I call them the um, the singleton uh, cards like set masterworks uh, siege Stross Mackay and uh, um, where is it where is it Morikai. Uh why because it's a 75 card deck and it's pretty hard to um, to get these because uh, at least in this skill zone we don't have enough card draw mechanisms um, so uh, as opposed to Telvani in which you can draw like uh, you can add insane draw mechanism and draw like crazy and you can just cycle and at one point you will reach um, the proper combo cards that you require to win the game as shown in some of my videos my old videos that I did uh, in, uh, such as uh, the single shroom um, Telvani um, and uh, Singleton Unite so it's a bit difficult to pilot this deck but it's fun to play nonetheless so uh, let's put it to the test in uh, a match and see how it goes okay and we're playing against so oh, look it's Mike go 99 uh, our buddy uh, we've had a couple crazy matches in this uh, past month. Um, he's quite a strong opponent. Uh, so this deck will really be put to the test because my Go99 is relentless. He is playing his uh, Control Rage uh, Journey Crusader. It's a pretty interesting deck. It behaves like an aggro. There it is, Rithane. It behaves like an aggro deck. Um, suddenly, uh, you will be um, tricked into filling lanes, uh, emulating blasts, come then and uh, <laughs> kind of destroy all your stuff. Uh, then uh, it also relies on um, even heart oracle and rage and uh, ravenous hunger and. Um, uh, Wilds Incarnate and ultimately Journey <laughs> and all those creatures all those nasty creatures uh, get buffed up and if you drag along the game too for too long uh, you will uh, end up losing for certain Vivek City Pilgrim uh, oops. I'll have to silence it. And I will also um, rally something. For now, Iron got rallied. Oh, Undying Dragon. Right off the bat. Holy smokes. Uh, I can actually use Crusader's Assault and I will draw a couple more cards and get rid of the Undying Dragon Devious Fear and Manic Jack <laughs> Nicely done, oh, oh. <laughs> I would say that was no pun intended but I would be wrong because <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done and file followed by another undying dragon. Uh, that's something that only Mike can do. So we need to get to a point in which we can summon Divius Fear. We will shackle the undying dragon. Uh, why I'm not summoning the um, the Icewing Dragon into the uh, into the field lane is because. And Mike can actually play a unstoppable rage, and all of my creatures uh, would have been messed up. I will taste 
I will take that lightning bolt. I want to get rid of that undying dragon. Uh, let's play iron, because that will allow me to play the, uh, the lightning bolt as well. And let's see what kind... Oh, Crusader's Assault, that's actually great. Uh, since Manning Mutation costs zero... Ooh, Ward. Excellent. So far, so good. We have the cards. We have Divious Fear. We can manage to summon that. Um, I don't think that uh, Mike can recover. Except by playing something with uh, that matches with Rage. And currently, uh, that Shadow Lane is horrendous. <laughs> a, an Ebonheart Oracle and a um, Golden Initiate. Kind of nasty. Divine Fervor. Loyal House Carl. I will give some extra HP to my up to my dragon. And I will hit for face. History shall remember this day. And Mike is down to five HP. This is pretty good. Um if he's got rage, he's gonna drain for so much. He'll, he'll actually clear the entire field lane. Oh, uh, sorry, shadow lane. And he'll also be able to trade into that dragon. So, the golden initiate trades and unstoppable rage. No, immolating blast. Immolating blast. Wow. Well, at least... We must protect a dragon is alive. Or not. It's dead. So Mark is back to 17 HP from 5 HP. Let's go over with a Divine Fervor. Trade into that and summon Reeve. I'm getting close to uh, 11 Magicka, so I'll be able to play Divious Fear soon. Oh, Mirak. And Mirak just... Tell my Reeve. Let's get Divius here out and see what what's the creature that will get destroyed. Mirak, so Reeve is still present into the field lane. So he's gonna deal a lot of damage over time. I'm not sure if I can uh, if I can keep up. Oh, and another <laughs> even our Oracle. And that moose blocking everything. That's just horrible. I'm in a pretty bad situation right now. And Divius Fear's daughter did not target the moose, unfortunately. That's a problem. Because Divius Fear might be dead next turn. Let's play Breton Conjurer and Forked Bolt. Deal some damage and we will summon a Frost Agent. 6-6 six, six guard, thanks to Divine Fervor, so it's going to be pretty hard to, to trade into it. An Unstoppable Rage on the even on Oracle. Of course, it will draw you insane amount of... Uh, it, it'll give you insane amount of, uh, of HP back. Ouch. Crusader's Assault, that's nine. And another Crusader's Assault, oh my god. Eleven damage with Breakthrough. And, uh... We've got Abnathon. Yeah, he's prepping for some Rage for Seton. If they were smart, they'd run. 
Lucky for us. Oh. Excellent. Finally, something good. Uh, we're dead next turn because uh, Reeve has like nine damage. We can't remove Reeve. That's six plus three. Yeah, we're dead. We can't remove Reeve. But we can play Vanus Galarian. Um, and we can actually equip the Steel Scimitar, uh, triggering Vanus. And we will deal three damage, but because that's what it does. Uh, that's what he does, actually. So, uh, expertise, deal three damage, uh, gain three HP, and draw three cards. Let's put the seal scimitar. Give you a fair attack. Leaving my opponent with just 11 HP. Uh, excellent work. Oh, got a couple of decent cards. At least we escaped lethal. Narrowly. <laughs> What's there to play next turn? Well, um. Unless it gets removed, Vaz is gonna stick. Uh, removed like silence or uh, trade it into. I got plenty of damage. No runes left for Mike, and uh, it'll probably be game over unless we. Uh... We see some uh, wild black magic. Only Mike can pull off. <laughs> okay, like he only needs a, an underworld vigilante. No, Vivic City Pilgrim. And goodbye. There is nothing stopping me from pushing lethal. It was a good game. Too bad we didn't uh, we didn't saw Mike's uh, shenanigans with his journey uh, rage crusader. But I'm telling you, maybe someday he'll just uh, give me the list and uh, make a video of it because it's crazy good. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Cheers.